Shalom, Shalom. This is the brother Emma Wan coming at you with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to start off as always. We give all the praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakah Hakodash. Double honors as always as well goes to our apostles and other bishops, the great most of the, the, the rulers and teachers of Israel. And peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers out there, the hopeful elect pushing this word out there. You know, that vibration, the truth and sincerity, and blessings also toward the great multitude um, of Israel, those destined for salvation, believers. <clears throat> so I just wanted to do a short lesson on the Sabbath, man. Just how, you know, the Sabbath, how we, how we um, understand it coming in, and how we understand it through the scriptures, man. Just a quick one, you know, just a, a refresher for those that don't understand it, you know, because you've still got people that um claim to be Israelites. Well, they are Israelites. I shouldn't say it like that, but they they're Israelites, but they they claim the Sabbath as uh, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, or even um, Saturday sundown to Sunday sundown, or even just a Sunday. Because they don't understand the scripture tells you how the Sabbath works. Um, you know, and there's enough detail in there for people to really not be um you know, having that old understanding, that Christian Christian understanding, I should say, you know. You know, as we know the Sabbath comes in, you know, there's a monthly cycle, man, and it comes in at sundown, so um, sunset is the start of the new day. Sunset is the start of the day, man. All right, that's how you're going into the, the, that new day. All right, and you're and uh, well, let's let's just get the scriptures anyway. I'll explain it as I go along. So I'm just going to read in Genesis first and foremost to get, you know, the understanding. Or at the beginning of the understanding. So this is Genesis one. And 14, it says, And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. I just want to do something real quick. So if it's this way. Right, so this way, sorry, okay. So verse 3 says, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light, right? And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. So this is showing you already that um, these other lights aren't what make the difference between the night and the day, man. As you would already know, you can have a dark and gloomy day and the sun can't, can't be seen. And you can still have it and you will still have light. So that the, the, the sun does not determine the daytime. Daytime is daytime and it has its own light. So it says, and God said, let there be lights in the firmament of, of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and, and years. So um, the word month, right, the word month comes from the word moon. And um, it has a, as a cycle. So every, so it has four, it can has four weeks, man. So you'll be looking at round about 29 and a half days in a month, right? So this is set up in order to break up uh, the month into weeks and the weeks into days. So um, there's there's no such thing as 
like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. These are all these are names of um some of them come from Roman god uh, false gods and, and Norse false gods, things like that. So they're not you know, these 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 days aren't in the scriptures, man. It doesn't have the names of the days like that. Because we because we go by uh you know the moon, man. You know, the sun tells you what can tell you what time of day it is, man. The stars can tell you the directions to go in, and the, and the moon tells you when the Sabbath comes in, and and, and the, you know how many, uh, what uh, what week you're in, things like that. So it says, um, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and it was so. And and God, meaning the angels again, made two great lights. In the uh, two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also, and God sent them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. So let's just go back to fourteen. I'll show you something real quick for those that don't know. So the word God, Elohim, right? Rulers, judges, divine ones, angels, gods. So. These are the angels, man. These are the, f and these are not just the, these, these are not just the angels, man. The first, um, the first spirits, man. The, these are the elect. All right, these are the elect doing this, man. Remember, the elect have been there from the beginning. That's why the scripture says that ye are gods, man. The most says ye are we, we, that we are gods. And the and the the root and the the the, uh, the head uh, spirit, the head angel was Yahweh Shai, man. When you go to um, John one on one, it tells you that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the word was God. Right? So in the beginning was the word. And the word was with the powers. And the word was a power. Right? So. Yahweh Shai is the word, man. He was there from the beginning. <clears throat> anyway, that's another lesson. Um, so reading on. Um, Alright, verse 18 It says, and to rule over the day and over the night And to divide the light from the darkness And God saw that it was good Okay, so we read that So It tells you that it's for signs And for seasons, man So, let's jump down to, Let's jump to Psalms 104 And a quick one here As a reminder, it says Verse 19 says, He appointed the moon for seasons, the sun know if he's going down. Right? So the, sun, the, the the moon is for seasons, man. All right. Um, if you go to Exodus 20 and 8, the Lord says, What remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy? Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Why? Because when the when the angels were creating the earth and the moon and everything around it the universe you know they did it that six days and rested on the seventh day man so that and remember the scripture also says that um one day to the lord is as a thousand years so when you work it out you're looking at that six thousand years man it took six thousand years um to, to, for the creation man so you get these scoffers and atheists saying oh you know your your book tells you that the life was made in six days and it's like yeah it would if you were taking it literally as as in a day as we know it then yeah it would sound off but that's because they don't understand so that's a way to um cut that one anyway 
So it says, um, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy power, of Yahweh thy power. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thou nor thy son nor thy daughter, thy manservant nor thy maidservant nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. And you know the the, the most I set the blueprints up, man, and 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 you know and and watched it happen. Watched it. Watched the um the powers, the angels go to work, you know, and do their thing. And the the, the most I didn't actually um lift a finger, man. And why should he? <clears throat> I'm not gonna do too, uh not got too many more to go into, just you know, a quick one man. Hopefully you get some understanding of it. So just keep this is what it's keeping the Sabbath. So Isaiah 58 and 13 says, If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call it the Sabbath, a delight, the holy of the Lord, honourable, and shall honour him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words, then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord Jehovah has spoken. So that's a covenant right there. <clears throat> but look, I'll say this as well. We're in captivity here, man. So some brothers and sisters can't keep the Sabbath like they always want to keep the Sabbath, man. Because you might have to work. You know, we have to pay bills like everybody else. You know, that's why when we when we're in our power, man, we don't have to do any of that stuff, that stuff. So we can choose. So we can um, have that choice. I shouldn't, shouldn't really use the word choice, but we have the freedom, I would say, to not have, even have to think about um, having to work or stuff like that. Because, you know, when we're in our power, everything will be set up correctly, man. Right? We will, we won't be working for other, we, uh, you know, we will have the other nations working for us. And they're going to have to um, um, keep that Sabbath as well, man. It's not just going to be for us. They're going to have to keep it as well, man. But the point I'm making is that you know, um, you know, don't let that um get you down if you can't keep the Sabbath because you have to. Um, you have to go to work and whatnot. And the scripture says, "Let not thy sins wear you down, man." So, you know, don't you? you there's you, you've got to try to be righteous, man. But don't try to be over righteous, man. If you have to go and work to pay your bills, man, the Lord's gonna understand that, because we're in our we're in our captivity, man. You know we have to go to our, 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 our captives for the want of all things, man. Right, so you know, like I said, some brothers uh, are able to keep the Sabbath all the time because of whatever reason, but you know, some some a lot a lot don't a lot don't have that option because they they have to work, man. All right, so just putting that one out there. Um, <coughs> right. So this is speaking of um you know our captors our cap uh, our captors man, all right the rulers are over us man. Daniel seven twenty five says and he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and who's that? It's, it's Esau and his rulership man, and think to change the times and the laws and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. Right, so Esau's changed the ordinances man. That's why you have months. Of, that have different uh, months with all these names and with different meanings and, and different uh, amounts of days in them. Uh, 
you know, uh, the season's falling at the wrong time. They call the new year when, you know, they call January is the new year when nothing is growing and it's freezing cold, it's winter time. You know, so they don't make any sense, man. It doesn't make any sense in, in how they, um, you know, Esau's ways, man, are backwards. Right? He doesn't, um, you know, he doesn't um, follow what the what the Lord has put down for us, man. Right? He teaches the opposite of that. Right? It's Lamentations two and five. It says the Lord was an enemy. The Lord was as an enemy slacker. He have swallowed up Israel. He have swallowed up all her palaces. He have destroyed his strongholds, and have increased the daughter of Judah mourning and lamentation in the daughter of Judah. So I can read that again. And have increased in the daughter of Judah mourning and lamentation. And he have violently taken away his tabernacle, as if it were of a garden. He have destroyed his places. Of the assembly, the Lord have caused the solemn feasts and sabbaths to be forgotten in Zion, and have despised the indignation of His anger. And have despised in the indignation of His anger the king and the priest. So, you know, we forgot. Um, you know, we forgot on all our ways, man, as a, as a nation of people, man. Now they follow after Catholicism and all these other types of Christianity, man. Seven day Adventists and all of this. And it's laid out in the scriptures, man. But the Lord has blinded people so they can't even see the obvious. Because these are obvious scriptures, man. When it comes to the Sabbath. You know, keeping it. Really. I mean, I'm not saying Genesis by any means is um an easy... Um, an easy uh, book to break down by any means, man. Because it's far from it. It's very deep. Just like Revelation, the beginning and the end are, the, are probably the deepest of the books, man. But yeah, man, so yeah, basically, you know, um, to finish it off, you know, sunset is the start of a new day. The new moon is the first day and a Shabbat, man, or a Sabbath. So sometimes you get two Sabbaths in a row. So you got seven days from the first day, and that and the, and the eighth day is the eighth day is day um is the, is the, is the next is the next Shabbat uh, Shabbat man or Sabbath, and then after that every seventh day is a Sabbath man, and if you and if you really want you know to kind of keep track of that. You go on, you get yourself like a lunar app. So it tells you about, um, you know, the different uh, cycles of the moon, basically. All right. It takes a while to get, you know, kind of understand it because there's like different phases. But, you know, get one and try and, you know, just try and have a look at it, follow it. And it help, it's helpful, man. And brothers are always, you know, telling, you know, putting that information out there when the, when the Sabbath is, when the Shabbat is anyway, man. So it's not like, um, you know, it's not like um, you can't find out, you know. Anyway, that's all I've got on that, man. Longer than I thought it was going to be. But anyway, that's how it goes, isn't it? So Lord willing, it's edifying. You know, like I say, try and keep the Sabbath when you when you if you if you can keep the Sabbath, keep the Sabbath, man. And I'm, like I said, even you know, we, some brothers have to work, some sisters have to work, but it doesn't mean you can't acknowledge the fact that it is the Sabbath, man. All right, still acknowledge it. You know, this is this is the this is a an acknowledgement of the creation, man. So this is why we do it. Anyway, Lord willing, it was edifying, man. And with that, I want to finish by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Mekha, Hakadash. And uh, yeah, shalom to the next one.